good morning guys so last night we ended up cooking a blue apron meal I know this is kind of a little bit different video all of my other stuff is more like DIY home decor and home renovation type stuff but like I said I do a lot of stuff on this channel there's kids crafts and a lot of my daily routine I guess revolves around cooking I love to cook I am cooking all day long three meals a day breakfast lunch and dinner so what I decided to do was do a vlog on that for you. My diet is paleo based because I am gluten free and dairy free so it's just easier for me to go that route. Um, it's kind of, I do paleo-ish or paleo based I guess you wouldn't just say I'm very strict at it because every now and then I do eat a cheese or something that I am willing to sacrifice and feel the pain for because I just love cheese and anyway but I do avoid gluten at all costs because that's something that I do feel instantly if I do accidentally get gluten I break out in hives my stomach is just intensely hurting for days I get bloated and I look like I'm pregnant it's crazy anyway so when I do make meals if I'm making something for the rest of the family and it has something in it that I can't eat I just substitute it out for a different vegetable or variation like if um pasta I'll use a spaghetti squash or even sometimes I'll substitute that out for gluten-free pasta so because I, I just I do still miss the carb Check out my cousin Jess at pretty cool vlog over on YouTube and Instagram they have a vlog going and they do like trips to Disney they do recipes it's like a whole family vlog it's so funny and well she saw some of my posts on my other um, social media platforms and she was like you know these meals look so yummy and I was like do you want to try it it's blue apron and this is not sponsored I just I had a couple of racked up where you can send it free to a friend or a family member so I was like let me send you some you'll love it so they tried it they did a vlog on it so you'll get to see one of this week's meal recipes on their vlog and then you'll also get to see um, the one that I tried on my vlog for our dinner meal here so yeah hope you like the vlog, subscribe, stay tuned. I'm going to be following all the steps. I love blue open meals. These are all of the recipes that I have acquired. So I'm not sponsored. This is an advertisement. I just really love the meals. What it is, is these meals are like gourmet style. Like some of them were even master chef winning um, recipes that they the winners got to put their recipes with the blue apron which is amazing that was actually one of my favorite recipes so far and i've repeated it a couple of times so i love it anyway so i recommended it to my cousin so she's gonna try it this week and tell me what she thinks about it so oh, i hope she likes it anyways what i do love about it is that all of the products that come with it are fresh and it is all if you see this it is grass fed ground beef no hormones added no subtherapeutic antibiotics. It is premium cuts, like always. It's always the best products. And they give you every single solitary thing you need. All of the produce comes in very, very, very fresh. And I've not had really any issues. If I did, or like say we had Hurricane Irma coming through and they knew that there was going to be a delay in shipping, they actually emailed me, letting me know that they expected that there would be a delay and they went ahead and compensated me for it. And I mean, I, I could have asked for anything better. They, they took care of me. So yeah, I hope you guys like it. I'm going to get started. And I am cooking the beef bolognese with the penny pasta. And there's a little catch to mine because I'm gluten-free, I can't eat gluten. I'm going to go ahead and make it with the pasta for my husband, but I'm going to substitute out the pasta portion that I cannot eat for a spaghetti squash. So I picked up a spaghetti squash at my local grocery store. I'm going to coat it with some olive oil. Actually, probably coconut oil. I haven't decided yet. And then I'm gonna put a little garlic salt in there. And I'm going to roast that in the oven. I've got it preheating uh, 375. So I'll get that in there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and prepare the ingredients. The awesome thing about this is that if you flip it over, it tells you everything to do step by step. Prepare the ingredients. Check, we'll do that. 
and it has it like timed out so that while you're doing and going through the ingredients like you're not wasting time things aren't getting burnt like it knows that you are doing this probably by yourself and it considers that so I really like that. Usually the only ingredients you need that don't come with it are some sort of olive oil or an oil and maybe a knife. So yeah, I've got my cutting board here. I don't know if I'm gonna use it or need it much. Probably it looks like I'll be cutting up some carrots and celery and stuff. So yeah, I'll need a knife. So I will go ahead, grab my knife and get started. Um, also the part that comes with the little knickknacks, it comes in this convenient little thing that says knickknacks and tells you what it's for and so yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and prepare my ingredients I'm going to follow the steps I'm going to heat a large pot of water on boiling on high wash and dry all of my produce peel and dice that all right let's get it done I love this little strainer. It came from Ikea. It was so cheap, it was like five bucks. I like to start with a clean work area. Every time I start something new, I'm very particular about like cross-contamination, keeping things clean. I wash my hands like and I'm going between anything, whether it's going from like meat to vegetables, etc. Um, yeah, like if you'll notice, I cleaned up all of my area even after taking care of the spaghetti squash. Because I have kids, I always put the sharp thing in there and I squish it, that way it can't fall out. Ugh, this is disgusting. Ew. <laughs> Brown the beef and start the sauce. In a large pan, nonstick if you have one, heat a drizzle of olive oil on medium high until hot. Well, let's get it going on medium high. Okay, so it's to cook three or four minutes until browned, and then to add onion.
add that onion, season with salt and pepper, cook stirring frequently the one to two minutes or until slightly soft. Uh, I don't want to add too much salt because it makes me bloat. And since I've already added some, I'm going to wait until it tells me to add the carrot, celery, and garlic because it then tells me to add salt and pepper again. And the thing is that it has you like build up on your salt and peppers. So like you just need to add just a little bit each time when it does read those instructions if you don't have to douse it in there. Okay, so now that it's begun to soften, it's been for about a minute or two. It says to add the carrot, celery, and garlic. Season salt and pepper. Cook stirring occasionally 45 minutes or until soft and fragrant. Okay, so it's soft Check and stir your pasta. So now it says to finish the sauce. To the pan of brown beef and vegetables, add the tomato paste and as much of the red pepper flakes as you'd like, or depending on how spicy you'd like the dish to be. Season with salt and pepper, cook stirring frequently one or two minutes. So I'm going to take the tomato paste. Starting to string, it's not quite ready yet. Okay, so now that I've got my pasta onto my plates, I'm going to add the beef bolognese. squash and with the pasta. Ours won't be mixed in quite the same 
is that one because I needed it to be gluten-free. So that is a gluten-free option for you if you wanna try some of these um, Blue Apron meals but you're nervous that it won't go with your diet. Just give it a chance, substitute it, look things up. Uh, a lot of times if it calls for potatoes, you can substitute it out for something like spaghetti squash or something like that, all right? Uh, enjoy, guys. Well, thanks for watching, guys, and don't forget to head on over to Pretty Cool Vlog to check out their results and their dinner meal. I think you will love it and find it quite hilarious. I know I was laughing through the entire thing. Those two never cease to amaze me. They crack me up. Anyways, uh, I know that this one, this video kind of veered off from the norm, but don't fret. We do have some more videos coming your way soon. We are going to be posting a new video, an updated version of the granite tutorial that is located on my YouTube channel now. You can also go check out how to tile your backsplash using subway tile and without using a wet saw. Also, I have some other tutorials coming up soon. Um, if you noticed in this video that my hair looked a little different, I did go from a really dark, like mahogany, uh, reddish brown hair color to this uh, platinum, ombre, rose gold type color. And I did it myself and I did record every step. So it will take me a while to compile all that, but I will have that video coming your way soon. So if you do want to see, stay tuned. Again, thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Bye.